we will teach this now. So feel welcome to relax. Remember, your angel and your librarian are with you, and we are flowing, connected with you. And as you are aware, we have many guardians protecting for this technique is so powerful. What we ask you to do when you practice it is also send it out to every possible timeline so that this love is flowing. It makes it more powerful, more powerful. All you need do when you practice this technique is to say, and I expand this to all timelines, all alternative timelines around me, you will feel it go out like waves. If you do not feel it, don't worry. The more you practice, the more this connection will expand. You will know when you hit it. And until then, do not worry. You are doing baby steps and be kind to yourself. At this moment, return to your meditative state. You are flowing, breathing. We are protected by many beings of love and light. Many angels and light beings are here. The Akashic Collective is here. This is very protected, safe environment for you. Your souls are here, always connected and flowing love to you. You have your angel and your librarian. In the future, when you practice this technique, if you call your angel and your librarian, or even just one or the other, they can help you always with the practice. They are your support your tutors. You are flowing with energy. Remind yourself you are always through all eternity a being of energy, but at this moment your physical form is a very compressed, dense energy. But even as compressed and dense, you are flowing inside you. You have your spark of soul, your spark of light. It brightens you and sends the energy outward and flowing. We want you to take a moment and look inward, look into yourself, feel what it is like, imprint on how it feels to look into yourself and acknowledge the light of love, your soul that is within you. When you do this, depending on whom you are, you may find one chakra or another lighting up. Your soul spark may be in your heart, or it may be in your third eye or your sacral. So look, when you look inward, imprint on the feeling and ask your body, Reveal where my soul spark is at this moment, my divine light of love, my eternal essence. Allow some part of your body to say, here I am, 
it will bring itself to your attention in one way or another. Wherever in your body is housing your soul spark, at this moment in your life, this is your place of greatest personal power. This is your primary energy center for this moment. Honor this energy center and resonate with it. Feel it. Align with it. And allow it to explain or express or reveal why this energy center is so magnificent at this moment. Now allow your awareness to expand through your dense body to the energy that you emanate, your auric field around your body. Feel your auric energy, the light around a bulb the light around a flame, anything that is a spark will have an auric field. Feel yours, the emanation that comes from you, especially the auric energy around your body closest to your place of personal power. Invite that energy, which may feel more dense or inflamed, to light up all of the energy around your body so you may become a unified field and very powerful. Wherever is your spark energy, Allow it to ignite all of your auric field so you may radiate at this moment. If you were to look upon yourself, you would see something like a god or a tremendously magical being. Invite this energy to continue radiating more powerful and outward and imprint with it. Imprint on how it may look or feel, the flow, the texture, the color, the kind of energy. Invite it to be as magnificent, as powerful as it wishes. And again, invite your energy center to inflame the entire of it. Invite this energy to become greater and flow up your energy cord to your soul so you and the line, the core of energy between you and your soul are all one with this beautiful plasma charge, this flame, this light. Again, invite your core of power to ignite 
and send the energy greater and higher so that you and your soul are becoming one expanse of brilliant energy. Tell your soul, I love you, soul. And let your soul tell you, I love you, human aspect of soul. Allow yourselves to feel love together. You and your soul are truly the closest relationship, closer than friends and siblings and lovers. Allow yourselves to truly love and invite this energy to ignite with the love. And then call out all souls who wish to ignite with love. Pull my energy, taste my energy, let us ignite together. And you will see the energy that rises up from you to your soul expands out. Many souls are happy to feed upon it and they combust. They combust along with you. They light up. They light up. They light up. They light up. You are flowing, flaming. With this charge, you hear love, love, love flowing in this energy. And then tell them, are you ready? Like a backdraft, let this energy reverse its flow. They are still charged with love. They do not release, but the energy flows to you and fills you. Very quickly, all of these many souls of energy, they keep their love, but now they are sending it to you. Instead of feeding from you, they are suckling you like their love child. Let the love of many souls flow into you and as it is filling you becoming very compressed open your heart and let it go out to the human bodies connected with every soul that is flowing their love knows how to find their bodies their lives you are merely the conduit Stay with the love and let the flow go through you. Let the love flow, receive and flow. Now release it all so that the love of each soul to each body can return to them. You have the imprint within you, but now each soul is loving directly to their human bodies and allow your soul to flow love to you. Sit for a moment, open your imagination, your creative reception. Allow your soul to fill you with pure love.
can send a kiss to your soul. You are always connected. You are always loved. If you feel a little melancholy because the experience has released, open your heart so your soul's love may flow through you and out around you. you wish you may invite your soul's energy to wrap around you like a blanket of love and invite your angel to wrap around you with wings of love and know that you are always cherished and loved you may feel very energized or tired at this moment for this was a big exercise. Now relax. As we continue, allow yourself to continue suckling love from your soul, your divine companions, as you honor yourself for a magnificent job well done. You may feel at this moment as though your body is a little more light and airy. This is wonderful. Or you may feel exhausted, which is understandable. At this moment, have we questions? Well then, we have also depleted our spark's body. So we will bid you great fondness and love. We honor you. We feel honored by you. We are so happy that we could be one with you. We hope you will practice this technique through the week. You will find it becomes more comfortable with repetition. We wish you a pleasant evening and remember to treat yourselves as though you are sacred, divine, eternal beings of love. Farewell.